Hey everyone, it's the Jaguar. The Dawn Trail benchmark is out now, so I'm checking it out. Here's my Warrior of Light with the new graphics. Biggest improvement here is the scales. Looked very pixelated before, but now they look really good. And of course, the eyes and the hair look really good. Reflections in the eyes especially. Looks like the starting race armor sets are updated too. Especially looks like more objects have been added maybe. I don't remember the stuff like the, the sword on the back being there before. The coloring of these blue crystals looks really good. Alright, looking good. Oh nice, we got we got a bunch of different gear sets we can choose between for the trailer. And you can be a, a pig in the trailer. That's great. More elaborate than I was expecting. As someone who's never done one of these benchmarks before. I think I'm gonna go with this job specific gear. The Viper gear. Looks like Viper is the only thing you can preview for this trailer. Makes sense. I look very cool. Now it's time to watch the trailer. I did read a translation of the recent live letter off camera, but one thing I did not do is watch the benchmark trailer. So this is going to be my first time seeing the, the trailer. The translation I was reading mentioned that there's new job actions visible in the trailer. I'm really excited for that. Okay, let's get started. density of all the plants and stuff is nice. Thank you. 
scales on that monster looked really good. Fairly high. Score six thousand seven oh two. Total loading time thirty one seconds. Not bad. That was very good. I saw in the translation of the live letter that this is supposed to be applied to every field area was very really surprising when it comes to npcs and gear it's going to be applied over time but the field areas apparently they're all going to be available at the start of the expansion that's surprising wonder what they mean by field areas does that mean dungeons and raids too we did see in the live letter the lost city of amdapur dungeon so i'm guessing that means they are doing all the dungeons and the raids too on launch. It's very cool. Even if I'm not caught up enough to do Dawn Trio content when it launches, really excited to just go out into the world and see the graphics update.